Hey, Kerry, I, you know, I don't know what your mindset was when you came to the 49ers knowing that you know, Nick Bosa was there and D Ford was there and all that depth on the line, but has your mindset changed any since you've become basically after two weeks, not just you know a piece of the puzzle, but now a, a guy that the team is counting on to really produce and keep this thing afloat? Um, not really. I've always kind of approached my uh, my work, my practice, my games the same way. So I'm just, you know, kind of getting ready for, a, a, you know, a heavier workload. But as far as my preparation, anything like that, I've always prepared to, to step in and make plays or, you know, prepare like a starter. Hey, Kerry. Jay Cutchinson. Uh The Giants use three tight ends more than any team in the league, something like 20% of the season thus far. What's been your impression of that on, on tape, and does that change how you guys have to approach them? Uh, they, from what I can tell, they want to be a physical group. You know, they want to run the ball. They want to get into those big personnel and, uh, you know, try to be physical with the front and try to control the line of scrimmage. Hi, Kerry. You've obviously been doing this for a little while in the NFL, but um, getting back with Chris Kacarek, did I don't know, as far as technique-wise, mental, m mentally, or, or, or anything else, has it, um, I don't know, benefited you, um, changed anything about, you know, say, uh, changed anything from what you may have been doing in Dallas last year? Um, I guess we would say there's a level of comfort, you know, just being with Chris, you know, uh, it's a level of trust there between, the, between us, and uh, I'm just able to, I guess, be myself, I guess, if you want to say, I, um, you know, he kind of, he kind of like raised me up in the in the league, and he just helped me become a productive player. So uh, just getting back with him, I just I was excited for it, and I just made sure I came ready and prepared for it. Kerry, I I I think Eric sort of asked my question for me, so um, I'm going off the cuff here, but uh, <laughs> just. In terms of the the mood of of the defense, how how would you say your your teammate is your teammates are, are responding, um, just given all that happened last week? Uh, we're you know we're we've always had the next man up mentality. You know, obviously those guys are are amazing players, and uh, it's gonna take a group effort. You know, to to uh, to take the, the make up for their production and that kind of thing. But uh, as a group, you know, we understand that we have a we have a goal. And the train has to keep moving. We have to, we have to try to step up for those guys and play for those guys. Throughout your career so far, Kerry, what, what's been you know the rough ratio um, as far as playing inside versus playing defensive end, and you know what, what's your comfort level being, you know probably being a, a defensive end solely um, for at least the, the near future here. Um, you know, it's, for me, my, my it's kind of been a week to week thing for me. Like so I've been in the league, but uh, I've always considered myself a defensive lineman and try not to just. A lot of the techniques are the same. You know, some stuff just happens faster or later. So I just try to, you know, just try to play my technique the best way I can and just go fast. You had your best year in Detroit with Chris Kacarek as your coach. What is it about him that brings out your best? And then also, you're now reunited with Ziggy. So how has that transition been for him? Um, I think for both of us, it's just, you know, we have that, like I said earlier, like level of comfort with Chris, you know, and uh, me and Ziggy getting back together. You know, that's my brother. We have a bond from, you know, playing together in Detroit. So, you know, I would say it's like riding a bike, you know, getting back with Chris for both of us. You know, we kind of just kind of can get back into it, and especially since we were kind of like raised up on the scheme and the techniques. Two more guys. Hey, Kerry, this is Cam Inman. Um, I, I believe you're probably one of the few guys, maybe the only guy that's faced Daniel Jones on the Giants. What can you tell us about him, and what are you expecting Sunday? Oh, uh, man, he's a, he's a great quarterback, man. He can make all the throws. He can, he can move around. Uh, you know, his future's bright, man. We just, as a group, we got to try to affect them the best way we can. Hey, Kerry, Kyle Posey. Did you ever think that you'd line up on the same field as Ziggy Ansaw again? And I also want to know, did you play any part in recruiting him to the 49ers? And I want to know what type of player are the 49ers getting at Ansaw? Um, 
you know, Ziggy's my brother. We always talk and that kind of thing. I wouldn't say I have to recruit him or anything like that. He's just my brother. We always check on each other. But uh, Ziggy's a hardworking player, man. He's going to fly around. He's going to make plays. It's always been his thing. He's always been a physical guy and a, and a, a guy that can hustle and make plays. So you expect him a hard worker. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, guys. Make sure you subscribe.